What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. To my members and new members, welcome. Make sure to hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars here on the Eternal Sith channel. So, it appears that months after Thrawn's official debut, Filoni has now had the chance to speak to Empire about the character's future, particularly regarding his rival. Filoni first speaks about Thrawn's associate, Captain Pelion, who debuted in live action as a part of the Imperial Shadow Council in The Mandalorian Season 3. Most notably, however, Filoni notes that Hera was Thrawn's foil throughout Rebels, hinting towards a rematch between the two generals. We set up Captain Pelion in The Mandalorian, and that's a character that goes with Thrawn, he says. So, I love to see the two of them together. His foil throughout Rebels was Hera. Pitting the two generals against one another is something that I find interesting. Now, the exchanges Thrawn and Hera did have throughout Star Wars Rebels are nothing short of scathing for each of them as they truly do outsmart one another time and time again. By the end of Rebels, however, they still have scores to settle. Thrawn no doubt holds a grudge against Hera for her crew being responsible for his exile. And for Hera, it was because of Thrawn that Ezra had to disappear for so long on Peridia. While Thrawn wasn't the one directly responsible for Kanan Jarrus' death, he was the one who had captured Hera in the first place, thus causing Kanan to be placed in the position of sacrifice he was later on in Rebels. Now these two then will no doubtably have a rematch in the future of Star Wars. The only question that remains is whether Filoni will wait to show this moment in his upcoming Star Wars movie that will be the culmination of everything or will he allow the two to cross paths before then? Now Ahsoka season 2 has yet to be confirmed and The Mandalorian Season 4 has yet to be confirmed, and The Mandalorian Season 4 has a need to focus on its own two beloved protagonists following mixed reviews for Season 3. I mean, we saw how that was, and meaning this rematch will be more likely a few more years in the making. So I doubt it's something that we'll see anytime soon, because if you think about it, there hasn't been any updates on season four of The Mandalorian. The only thing we've gotten is that Jon Favreau had done the writing and it's basically done. But again, we don't know if that's really true. There's also season two of the Ahsoka series that it's been, there's been news and like little things that Rosario Dawson or Sabine actress Natasha Leo Bordizzo have come out and said that maybe we might get something they don't know yet. But again, there still hasn't been a confirmation on season two of the Ahsoka series. One might think there might be a season two because again, the way it did end, but they can continue that storyline in season four of The Mandalorian if that's the route that they do want to go. But there's also been rumor that they might not even be in season four, that they're just going to go straight to the movie. I don't know. It's all over the place, guys. But all I do know is at some point in time, we will see Hera and Thrawn go up against each other again, whether it be The Mandalorian, Ahsoka, or The Mandalorian movie. But comment down below, guys. Let me know what you think about today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to hit that subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars.